I found Fire and Light glassware at Goodwill, which can sell for $100 per goblet, which I left behind, but I go back. What did I find when I went back to Goodwill? Thrift with me in Los Angeles. Welcome to my channel, La Vie Vintage Rose. I live very close to thrift stores in Los Angeles. I'm really glad that I don't have to drive really far and have the gas prices eat into my profits. I find it very convenient to live in this area. I'm looking through the menswear, Banana Republic, J. Crew. Surprised about the selection of menswear. Seems like someone didn't need their winter items. Armani Exchange. I wanted to process a few exchanges. Currently, the time limit is 60 days for exchanges here in Los Angeles. It's possible that all these items belong to the same person. Many of them were medium. Looks like someone moved out of LA. And Affliction. This is a high quality cotton hoodie. Affliction is an edgy alternative brand with interesting graphics that sells for high prices. I've inserted sewed images. Moving on to my favorite section, hard goods. I found these very interesting. They had a brand stamped into the item, Chris Collicott for Kirkland. I made some room in my cart for these bookends. I wasn't rolling when I first went in. I already have a number of items in my cart. This vintage McCoy strawberry stoneware crock I put back. No sales. Also got the uh, Walt Disney Bambi book. This book does sell regularly for around $10. I did manage to find these items, six vintage owl glasses. I've inserted sewed images. This vintage tomato preservative or jam jar is really cute. There's a lot of them selling on eBay. And also a couple of blue cornflower which I'm sort of collecting, either for myself or just to have a set to sell, possibly. I also found below there in the cart a divided milk glass platter with a gold rim. The gold rim is in great condition. I wanted to make some room in my cart for these bookends. I was able to grab the female bookends first. And I added the two male bookends. The female one actually is worth more than the male ones, probably because they're more rare. Some bowls with some Christmas animals, animals dressed in Christmas sweaters. And a couple of books. An American Girl classic that originally cost $30 that sells well online. And also an old recipe book from McCall's specializing in desserts. This recipe book sells on Etsy for $45, but I haven't seen people buy it for that much. This was a best-selling Harry Potter book. It's pretty common, so I'm going to be bringing that one back, maybe tomorrow. That Christmas ornament is lightweight and required batteries, so I didn't pick that up.
The shelves look empty as I go around. Lots of low quality items that uh, weren't worth picking up. This candle holder was modern. It looks like some artichoke. I go around the shelf. At the end of this video are recent solds, clothes and hard goods. Moving on to women's pants. I did find these interesting pair of denims. They're a premium Italian brand. PG denim. Designed by a Italian designer that customizes his own fabrics using real silver and sustainable recyclable methods. And I've inserted a link in the description below. I go to the women's jackets. The brown leather jacket has a huge collar, like from the 1990s. I'm a long tail seller. I can hold on to the items until they sell at a good price. I look at items for more than just the name on the label. Many of the jackets are fairly typical, more common variety, not high quality clothes. It would be hard to sell clothes if you weren't a clothes horse. When you really like clothes, you don't need explanations as to why something looks sexy. In other words, why something works. This Charter Club sweater had sort of an interesting style, made of acrylic, which sells for usually less than $20. So I pass on that. I can move my cart around well in the aisles. There's not a lot of jackets that stand out. People usually have the solid standards career clothes, which people are less into these days. I like to work in jobs that are enjoyable. You have to be happy with your work, with what you do, or make changes, find a different career. eBay has given people a lot of options. I like to make extra pocket money selling on eBay. It's been fun for me. It's great that there are so many thrift stores in Los Angeles. Thrift with me in Los Angeles. Maybe tomorrow. There's lots of mugs here. They tend to sell slowly. I do pick up collegiate mugs and also sometimes the quality stein does sell through for my store. Some Christmas items. These blue-green teal glasses also look interesting. I did pick up these amber glasses. They're from Anthropology. And they sell for pretty good prices. I'll put an insert here. I see these glasses. I don't know if I should get them or not. I notice on the bottom, they are engraved. I also see these artsy pink glasses art glass reminiscent of Murano, a modern take on hand-blown glass. These glasses stand out. The celery green color is unusual. The reason why I decided to not get the glasses is because 
the glass looks like a different glass compared to the stem of the glass. It seems like something that could possibly break in half during shipment. And I didn't want to ship something like that. That was the reason why I decided to not get these glasses. Come to find out that Fire and Light, the glass company, produced the stem of the glass, the colored recycled glass, but they did purchase the clear glass from another company. So that is the reason why it indeed does look like this glass was produced by two different companies. But apparently, people also sell the stem only. People will pay up for just the stem. So, I must start going every day. I was shocked by the prices that they bring. Fire and light glassware is one of the holy grails. I had to go back the next day. The reason why these glasses are so coveted is because the company has now closed and they're no longer making this type of glass. It was a colored recycled glass company based here in California on a well-displayed dining table, the glassware brings a beautiful ambiance with the colors reflecting around the room with the right type of lighting. The ambiance can be quite magical, creating a romantic, warm ambiance. I went around the store one last time. I find a spot to put the menswear sweaters so I can inspect them carefully for any holes or damages. One of these gray sweaters or hand knit, it's a woman's Angora hand knit sweater that sells on Etsy for over $200. I had a 20% off coupon. The coupon is applicable to most of the items that I got. I go through the men's sweaters and I usually remove the hangers because they start catching on everything. Men seem to buy seasonal wear as they need them. So I was happy to add these quality items to my store. And I found this vintage leather menswear sport jacket. It was in very good condition. So I did get that. This is the haul I came home with. I got this beautiful vintage brass lily pad lamp for $12.99. And also the zebra which is a vintage liquor bottle from 1970. It has a cork in the zebra's neck and used to contain liquor. They sell for about $50, $60, including the shipping. The tomato jar is a vintage pantry parade with lid and the original sticker. I also got these dessert or fruit bowls inspired by Fire and Light for $5.99. This Anchor Hawking Milk Glass Divided Platter sells for around $25. These are the pieces of fire and light, four bowls, $3.99 each, and three plates, $2.99 each. 
The goblets were gone by the next morning. I also got this pretty lamp. I started a collection of these types of lamps, all with the same theme, all with a white lampshade. And in the back corner there is a mid-century bowl. It's a bit large for shipping. We'll be listing it for local pickup. In the back is a brass coffee or tea carafe. Next to it is four brass goblets. $2.99 each. Here are the teal San Miguel tumblers. I was surprised that they actually scratch and there is color loss. They are quite expensive on Amazon. They must be imitations. There are many on eBay with these issues. In the back, Christmas bowls from Martha Stewart. Her bowls sell for $25 to $30 each. I got those glass sets. The amber and owl glasses. I put only one of them on the table here. I got three of the amber glasses and four of the vintage owl hoot tumblers. So that's my hard goods haul. These are from two different stores. Thrift with me in Los Angeles, maybe tomorrow. <laughs>